hi guys welcome back to my channel i am coming back to you with another video because i want to do a hair review on this dream coat spray by color wow and in essence there was a video that kind of i guess kind of went viral uh and basically the hair repelled the water droplets that was put onto it so i want to see how well it works in you know real life and then i want to see how it works with natural hair so i've already came with my hair uh shampoo condition i put a hair mask in there of course and and i blow dried it now i saw some people online they said well only put this product this is the only product you put in there and then you blow dry it for me that never works because i have to have a heat protectant so i use my trust and make keratin smooth Heat protective spray here. I think I've mentioned these. I'm pretty sure I mentioned these in prior videos. But yeah, I have to have my heat protective spray. So I do what I want. But I will say this. When I read the directions, which I will kind of reiterate, it said nothing about not putting any additional. Like I didn't notice anything with regards to them instructing you not to put anything else in your hair. So, but yeah, we shall see. I want to see how it responds to like a real life client me i'm not sponsored i'm not paid and i get a sick kick out of <laughs> trying new hair products because i want to see how it works you know but just to kind of get into the directions it says to shampoo condition towel dry hair divide into sections spray each section liberally comb through blow dry each section using tension dryer heat required to activate product Long lasting, use every three to four shampoos. And it says, finally, award winning humidity sealant stops hair from becoming a hot mess. And even the highest humidity, activated by heat, long lasting, last three to four shampoos. So I wanna see, you know, I don't, I wanna see like how it affects my curls. Uh, is it gonna affect it reverting, like going back to curly hair? And today I am going to demonstrate or just show you the effects of it on straight hair and see how well it works because i really want my hair when i put droplets on there i want it to roll on up so i will be like i'll be super excited if this actually worked out because my hair tends to uh frizz up with moisture and i know a lot of people who have curly hair have that same uh same issue not that it's an issue but you know so I would love if it was to work because of course on those months where I want my hair straight, I want my hair straight. Like I really want it straight. So that's why I'm sitting here and my hair is blown out. It's huge. It's all over the place. I'm all over the place. But I did want to come to you guys and bring you a quick video. And like I said, just see, see what it does, see how it looks. So I'm going to go and flatter on my hair and then we're going to do the water test on it. All right, guys, so I wanted to come back to you after after I straightened my hair and after I used the Color Wild Dream Coat Supernatural Anti-Frizz Treatment Spray, whatever you want to call it, the, the spray that pretty much went a little bit viral on TikTok and social media in general. I wanted to try it for us natural girls, for girls with curly hair. I want to see how well it worked, and so... I purchased this bottle it is 6.7 ounces and it was at a price point of $28 plus shipping I believe plus tax so as you can see um, looking at my hair I actually went outside today I did like flip my bangs uh, they were so much more nicer earlier but it was cloudy outside like it was really cloudy and not even raining. And as you can see, got slight frizz here and there. So, and this is at the point where I have not even did the water test. So yeah, I'll let you guys just use your imagination with that. But I did, I was super excited to try it out. Try it out for us natural girls to see if it really worked before you waste 28 dollars but you have to make that decision for yourself is it really worth it but 
um according to me using it when i used it and i looked at a few other there was a couple other videos online of other girls with similar you know with curly with the curly hair texture natural hair uh and they were kind of stating the same thing so i don't know maybe it worked for someone uh who naturally has straight hair maybe it worked better for them but uh for me this is kind of where i am so i am going to do the water test that was conducted put a few drops of water and i'm gonna see what it <laughs> what it looks like after that because i feel like hmm, if it's already doing this and there's moisture in the air i can only imagine if i actually put water on it but i'm doing this guys for you i, I am i don't straighten my hair much and this is a treat for me and i'm gonna do this for you guys for supporting me for so long so all right guys i'm back with this thing here uh, i did fill with water typically i use this for my vitamin e oil but i was like oh let me try it out really quickly so i'm just gonna take a <laughs> This is killing me right now. This just seems so wrong. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a strand of hair and put a couple drops on there and see what happens. Let me uh, take a smaller piece of hair. So, as you can see, as you can see, my hair has absorbed the water. My hair has absorbed the water as I thought it would. And as you can see here, you can't really see, because obviously if I put more water in my hair, more water, and really give it a good shampoo, it's gonna revert. I have no doubt about that. But as you can see here, there's an S formation starting to form. You know, I did pull it out, but there it's not. I'm hoping that this is good enough. I don't know, but it's definitely, it's definitely um, absorbing. So it does not repel water for me. Um, so I don't know. I, I maybe I saved you guys 28 bucks, but uh, I couldn't. I can take the frizz. I had to go and I had to bump it up a little bit. So and when I mean a little bit, it's just I bumped it up slightly just to close out this video and go about the rest of my day but um overall i just want to give an overall thoughts and opinions of the products um and then also i want to let you know so basically i followed the same method that i typically follow when i straighten my hair same products if you want to go check out my previous videos on how i flat iron my hair what tools i use what products i use boom i have videos on that i would suggest you pause you go you check that video out and then you come back to this one or you can check it out when this video is over but one thing i will say is that when i got ready to blow dry my hair again he protected all day every day this is like my best right he protected and then i put a little bit of this in there that's it um nothing extra or any of that and my hair still kind of came out frizzy so I'm not sure if it's more catered to certain hair types, but for me being most of the time I'm natural, I don't know if I would recommend this product. I just don't know if I would. I'm not seeing what it's doing, especially at the price point of $28, $30, or however much plus shipping, whatever. Uh, so that's just, that's just my opinion. My hair pretty much had became frizzy right after using it. Um, so if you want to try it out, I think they do have a smaller size online, but I'm a hair product junkie, so I had to get the bigger size for whatever reason. Um, but I'm not, I don't feel like it really did anything. But if you want to try it out, by all means, but if you want to take my advice to save you uh, 30 something bucks and put it towards something else, makeup or whatever else, I would recommend doing that. So make sure you use the heat protectant, like I said before, but for a person with natural hair, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend this product. And I'm not usually harsh. Ugh, that feels so weird. I'm not usually harsh on companies and I'm not, the company may have other good products. I haven't tried it. 
because I saw in the tutorial, I believe there was they were using hairspray and other things. I don't know about their other, other products. I just know about this one and that stylist her, that did the person's hair and they used this product, it came out beautifully. But as far as someone with natural hair, naturally curly hair, I don't, I don't know if I would necessarily recommend. So that would be, um, that was my overall review on that. So with that being said, I am gonna close this video out. If you guys have questions, comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer it and any other, you know, video ideas or like I said, questions or if you guys want to even comment your ex personal experience with the product, by all means. All right, guys. So thank you for watching my video. Once again, you've come back uh, to support me. Thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next one.